Firefighters have been working around the clock to knock down the wildfires burning all throughout Southern California. But with the help of military drones, the fight may get a little easier. Kick on Ice Tina Patel is live outside the March Air Reserve Base in Moreno Valley with a look at how they can help out. Tina? Well, pilots in an operation center here in Riverside County are flying over the Thomas Fire in Ventura County right now using drones to find out exactly where the hotspots are and what neighborhoods might be threatened. Some of the most vital aircraft fighting the fires in Southern California right now don't have the ability to drop any water or FOS check, but these MQ-9 Reapers do have sensors that can see through smoke and feedback live video data, not just to the pilots at March Air Reserve Base, but to fire commanders on the ground, too. And we can show them where the fire is moving, whether it be north, south, east, west, or if it starts, embers start flying four and five miles away, they have literally real-time data and they can start taking their limited resources and putting them where it counts most. The aircraft fly at altitudes twice as high as our news helicopter can, where the winds don't affect them as much. And because they're remotely piloted, they can be operated around the clock. They don't have to land for pilots to swap out. They can stay in the air and hover over a fire for hours. I've flown airplanes my whole career, and when you're flying by, not fighting fires, but Either way, when you're flying by something and looking down, you don't have the ability to stop. The partnership between the Air National Guard and CAL FIRE is still fairly new. This week was the first time many of the pilots have flown over an emergency in their own community. It definitely is different, and it definitely makes it more important. Uh, we're more vested in uh, ensuring that the guys on the ground are taking care of the fires. Because it's their neighbors on the ground, it's their homes they're trying to save. From what they can see right now, it does look like they're making progress. I'm optimistic. Uh, it's scary when you hear other fires pop up, but at the same time, I think we're making a difference, and I think we're going to get them under control. An example of what these pilots can do a couple months ago during the wildfires in Northern California, a group of firefighters were in a remote region. They lost radio contact with their commanders, but these pilots were able to spot them from above and make sure that they weren't in any danger. Jeff and Elsa, that's a really remarkable resource to have.